In this episode, we will be featuring ways to stay active during these times, a history of pandemics, and all about COVID-19. Grizzly TV starts right now. Hey Grizzlies, welcome to our very first episode of GTV at Home. I'm Ashton Oakenquist. Are you tired of sitting in the same spot all day trying to get your assignments finished? Well, Whitney is here to save the day with a few board and busters. Hey Grizzlies, it's Whitney Erickson. Today I'm going to be doing five board and busters for what to do when you're bored while in quarantine. Let's get to it. For my recipe, I'm going to be making peanut butter energy bites. I'm Jalissa Abbott, and a lot of you don't know what's going on in the world with the coronavirus. I'm going to be telling you some more about it. First, let's cover the basics. The coronavirus is a respiratory illness that's spread from person to person. The first case was cited in Wuhan, China. The coronavirus originally came from two animal viruses mixing together. Now the virus is harmful to humans and some animals. The virus is spread by people in close contact with each other. There are respiratory droplets, like when a person coughs or sneezes, shoots out into the air and attaches to other people. You can also get the virus by touching a surface with it on it and rubbing your eyes, nose, or mouth. If you start getting symptoms of fever, cough, shortness of breath, or sore throat, it is recommended to self-quarantine yourself away from your family and pets. The coronavirus can live on surfaces for a few hours or several days. The incubation period, meaning the time period between catching the virus and having symptoms, can range from 1 to 14 days. The best way to prevent getting the virus is avoiding contact with sick people, avoid touching your eyes, nose, mouth as much as possible, washing your hands for 20 seconds or more with soap and or using alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% of alcohol. People of all ages can be infected by the coronavirus, but people with pre-existing medical conditions and older people are more vulnerable to it. The best way to keep yourself from getting the coronavirus is to stay home, wash your hands, and be safe. I hope you take all that information very seriously and stay safe, Grizzlies. Now signing off from GTV, I'm Jalissa Abbott. Thanks, Jalissa. Now that we know all about this pandemic, let's go to Sam to learn more about historical pandemics similar to this one. Hey, Grizzlies. Today we're going to be talking about different pandemics that are similar to the coronavirus. One of the pandemics are the Spanish flu of 1918 that killed over 56 million people. The SARS outbreak of 2002 to 2003 killed more than 6,500 people. 50 to 100 million people died from the influenza pandemic in 1918. To top it off, here are some interesting facts about the coronavirus. There has been 2,006,513 confirmed cases worldwide about the coronavirus, 128,886 of them were deaths, and 501,758 of them were recoveries. There has also been 618,923 confirmed cases in the U.S., 
27,112 of them have been deaths and 49,998 of them are recoveries. I would also like to say thank you to the nurses that have been risking their lives to save others and thank you guys for watching this video. Well Grizzlies, that's all for this episode. Signing off from GTV, I'm Ashton Oakenquist and remember Grizzlies, greatness happens here.